Hello Pisces and welcome back to New Hope Tarot where we will be doing your relationship reading for the week of April 1st through April 7th. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled but as always I will shuffle live. During meditation uh, Spirit showed me a duck on a lake. Um, the energy that came through was very peaceful and subdued. Um, energy like very relaxed um, it's, it's like the duck wasn't even going, you know, like paddling like crazy underneath. It, it was just kind of just there, but at, I mean, we all know that ducks just, it's like you, you make working look so easy with this duck that, that they showed me. It's like you're paddling away, but it just looks like you're just chilling, gliding, just doing your thing. That's what I'm getting here. But, you know, the duck also uh, symbolizes, you know, stability, good luck, nurturing. It, there's, I mean, the list goes on and on, but those are the ones that I really connected with. And then the energy, as I mentioned, the energy that that came through with the duck was a peaceful, subdued energy. It was almost like a con contemplative feeling. It's like the duck was contemplating. It, you know like when you are thinking about something and your eyes are closed, but your mind's going a mile a minute, but it looks like you're at peace? That's like, because, but you really are thinking? That's, that was the energy, okay? Let's see what we have here. We have trust. The bottom of the deck, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And look. She looks peaceful. I, I never look at the bottom of the deck of the oracle cards. Well, I can't say I never. Very, very, very rarely. I can't say never or always because that's nonsense. Um, but this person is incredibly peaceful in this, in this card, smelling the rose. And it reminds me a lot of this duck where it, they just they felt peaceful. And then we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Hmm. You know, Cancer had this card. Not both cards. They had two cards, but not these two cards. They had trust for sure. And I'm getting a very similar energy. For those who have not yet come into a relationship Trust that somebody is coming your way, okay? For those that are in a relationship or in a friendship that you are attracted to, trust that this person is actually attracted to you as well because there's an attraction here for sure. And I feel very similar to the energy that I got with cancer. I don't know if you already have like if you have cancer in you or if this person is a cancer, I don't know. Um, I mean, everybody's situation is different, but if you feel called to go ahead and listen to the cancer reading, but the, this, I, I feel like there is a third party involved and I don't mean like another partner. I, I, I feel like your friends and maybe you go out and, and you know, you meet through a friend or you go out and, and you, hang out as friends, you and, you know, like maybe a group of people, I don't know, maybe your coworkers, I don't know, but take it how it resonates. But that's, that's the energy that I'm getting through. And I feel like you are slowly getting to know one another. This person might hold a higher power over you. And, and I don't mean like a higher power, like as in something bad, um, if you do work with them, maybe they have, they hold a higher position than you. Um, if you don't work with them, 
maybe they are just a very by the books kind of person. But I see that they're very kind, very gentle in this in this uh, card. The energies that are coming through, they're they're kind, they're gentle. It's like they know when to be you know, boss, and then when to soften up. They have that capability that where they're able to go back and forth. And I, I think you see that, and that might be very attractive to you. Oh, okay. We have three of cups. Oh, my pencil just rolled. You guys know I write my notes so I can do my clip notes after my reading. So I always keep it close by. We have seven of cups in reverse and the star in reverse. Okay. Yeah. Remember I said that I feel like you go out as friends or you're, you know, you, you do things with like friends or whatever. There's some sort of gathering here with this three of cups. And I feel like that is how, you know, the pair of you like chat it up. I feel like outside of this, you, maybe you chat, but not necessarily. I feel like this is how you really do the most communication with the seven of cups. Oh, for those spirit just told me for those who are, um, not in a relationship yet and, and they have not met their person, go out with friends is what this is saying, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and do the reading real quick because the reading for, for those who are um, not in a relationship is very, very clear. Trust the fact that, um, that this is coming. Go out with friends. Don't be in the lack mindset with the seven of cups in reverse and don't be in the hopelessness energy, right? Raise your frequencies to make sure that this comes in, All right? That is the the gist of the of, of anybody who has come to this reading for the to see if they're going to be in a relationship for those who are in a new relationship or you know your friends and you're you're a, a already attractive to them um with this seven of cups in reverse what this is saying is Don't fantasize about, about this person. Check yourself into reality. Or don't, don't think that this person isn't interested in you or that there's no way that this person could be interested in you. Because I feel like the reality is they are actually very attracted to you. There is a rose in the center of this seven of cups, right? On, on the main cup, there's a rose, which correlates with this rose that's in the attraction. Not only that, it correlates with the um, red bow that is tied around this <clears throat> person in the um, wearing a red uh, not a red dress, a white dress, and they have a red bow on their arm for whatever reason, which is rare, but I mean, I mean, not rare, but random, but that's what it is. It, it's just showing that there's red. And I feel like that's overall just attraction. So don't, don't think that you're not attractive to this person. You actually really are. Don't think that you don't have a shot with this person. You actually are with this star in reverse, I feel like this is saying that don't, all right, so I'm getting a couple of different things. Don't be in the idea that, that you're not enough or that you, because they might be a higher rank or a high, you know, you might see them as more attractive or whatever. This is saying, similar to the seven of cups, uh, that I was getting energy saying, don't, don't feel that way. 
have faith that this person actually feels yourself. And I feel like this is also saying, don't dull your light because you, you want, there's a lot of beautiful aspects about you. Again, you with the duck, you make things look graceful. Even when you don't think you are, I don't, cause I don't feel like you have as much confidence in yourself as you should Pisces, because this is, this is all giving me energy of somebody with just exudes just a sense of self, even though you might not feel that way. Remember the duck, it's like they're placid, they're kind of cool, calm, collected, but inside you're like, blah, 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 just kind of like chugging along, right? Like, like your little feet are just going through your little web feet, just go, 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 go. But really, you know, you appear calm. So you really do ex like give out this energy of like you command people to look at you without you really trying to, because I, I don't feel like you call attention to yourself. You don't try to, that's not your MO. That's what I'm seeing here. But believe in the idea. Number one, shine your light. Number two, believe in the idea that this person is attracted to you. Let's see here. I should have been shuffling while I was talking about your cards and I didn't. I apologize. All right. We have the two of pentacles, justice, five of pentacles. Okay. With the two of pentacles, I feel like there is the sense of you. I feel like you're really balanced out with this person. I feel like you are very, very equal to this person, but I feel like you have to really be a little bit more flexible in your mindset as far as this is concerned. Now, this is definitely, you know, can be about a partnership for sure, but it, it might start off as, as friends and then it, it, it will grow into more. Cause I don't feel like either one of you want to show your hand right now. I, I don't feel like you want to show that you're interested. I don't feel like they want to show that they're interested. I feel like you're trying to keep it platonic for the time being, but really it looks like the beginning of a very stable relationship. And here comes justice again, balance, 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 balance. I told you it's a whole lot of balance. Um, uh, but this justice is clarifying the seven of cups. This is saying, check yourself, right? Which is actually what I said with the seven of cups. If I'm not mistaken, check yourself, recognize the truth that number one here, you are worthy. And number two, you have, you have exactly what it takes. And this person actually is really attracted to you, right? You're not less than, you know, you are actually very, very seen with this five of pentacles with the star. Again, with the star, it's about having a, um, number one, allowing yourself to shine. Number two, um, don't be in this idea that, you know, this person can't be attracted to you. And with the five of pentacles here, this is really much saying, this, this is saying, don't, don't feel like you are less than, uh, just because maybe they hold a higher, um, higher, uh, role or position within your job. Or if they, if they, if, ow, that was my elbow. Um, if you don't work with them, this is about, um, this is about you think you not thinking that you're not seen by this person. You are very much seen by this person. 
even if you don't talk much when you're out with friends and, you, and, and you're doing this and you kind of isolate or maybe you choose your words before you speak, it's kind of energy that I'm getting with this five of pentacles. I feel like you're seen regardless. There's something about your subtlety, your subdued way. Remember the subdued way? Because I felt that subdued energy. There's something about your energy that this person finds very intriguing. Oh, here we go. We have judge justice and judgment. Wow. Yeah, you for sure have to allow something to die. You have to remove that veil from in over your eyes and see things for what they really are. The moon, again, shine the light, shine the light and stay in balance, you know, this could be an absolute mystery. For those of you who are not in a relationship, this could be a mystery to you, right? But for those who are in a relationship, this is about you really staying the course. Don't get distracted by somebody else you could be that you think is more attractive and, and you think that this person will be more attracted to that person. No, no. This person has their eye on you. My dear Pisces, this person has their eye on you for sure. And we have the eight of coins. Believe it or not, I'm getting the sense that this person is trying to figure out a way to tell you how they feel about you. The, I know that's, I know that that's weird, but that's what I'm getting here with this eight of coins. Eight of coins is definitely about focus, apprenticeship, uh, you know, learning, knowledge, all of that, right? However, what I'm getting here is that by opening yourself up and, and not necessarily telling this person how you feel, but opening up and trusting that things will develop as they should, they do because we have the eight of coins here and the eight of coins, yes, it is about focus, but I feel what the energy that's coming through with this particular eight of coins is the fact that all the pieces will fit in their right time. It's going to be a slow and steady relationship and you will get there. Yes, just like I said at the very beginning, I feel like this is a friendship at the very beginning. I don't feel like anybody wants to say diddly squat about how they feel. I just don't. I feel like I said this with cancer. Yeah, I, there's somebody's being guarded or protective, right? Protective of their heart, guarded about their, you know, situation or being known completely, you know, with this moon here. But I feel like things will come to light in their own time because. I feel like all the all the pieces are just they're they're fitting. Nightingale, love uh, Nightingale spirit, love is all around. I'm pretty sure I said that with Cancer. Pretty sure I'm not 100 percent positive. I'm not sure. Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. There you go. There you go, Pisces. I mean, I, just allow things to occur when when they when they're supposed to occur. Allow things to develop, but you need to do a little bit of uh, self evaluation here with this judgment card to recognize that you're beyond worthy and you are more balanced to this person than you actually think. I feel like both of you are incredibly similar internally, but I think you'll start recognizing that as things develop. 
All right, my dear ones, that's what I have for you. That's, I mean, just, just have a little patience and have a little self-confidence. Allow your light to shine. All right, dear ones, have a great week. Bye.